talking about uh, uh, laws concerning how to act neighborly. We don't have that. Understand? <laughs> so this is this is very important. So, and the second verse says, And if thy brother be not nigh unto thee, or if thou know him not, then thou shalt bring it unto thine own house. See? So if your sheep or your ox or whatever go astray, and you and, and, and you know it's not yours, so let's say you don't know your neighbor, but you know it's not yours, you should still do what? Take it unto you, put it in your barn or whatever. All right, or your pastor, whatever. Maybe mark it so you know it's not yours until you find out who the person or which neighbor is it of yours uh, that live near you, mm -hmm. and then return it up to him. And you don't have to know the person, right? Mm -hmm. Right? We don't do that today, do we? Mm -hmm. Today, our you know, brothers are so uh, disrespectful. They're so unbrotherly. They, they don't have that uh, that love. A brotherhood and a neighborly love that would allow you to be able to um, look out for one another as neighbors. See, because you don't, because my neighbor can live down the block. I may not see him that much, but it's still your neighbor. And your neighbor is basically talking about what? Talking about your what? Your your nation. Right. See, that's what it's talking about. You're not going to know everybody in the nation. You're not just going to know everybody. You're not going to be. You're not going to be friends, friends with everybody in the nation. Understand? But you can be what with everybody in the nation? You can be brotherly. See? That's what the most I was looking for. You're never going to click with everybody. See? You just, it just, that's just the way it is. By nature, you're just not going to click with everybody. But I can still be brotherly. I can still keep the law, statutes, and commandments of brotherhood. That's all the most I want you to do. You can't even do that. Okay? And that's the problem. So, so, and in that third verse it said, In like manner shalt thou do with his ass, and so shalt thou do with his raiment. So in other words, his possessions, or, or one of your neighbor lose their possessions or whatever. Understand? It's the same thing. And with all lost things of thy brothers, which he have lost, and thou hast found, shalt thou do likewise. Thou mayest not hide thyself. Well, I don't want to keep this stuff. Like, get the hell out of here, man. I don't know him. See? That's the first attitude we take. See? That's sacred. Understand? So, so you bring it up today, even today. If I lose my wallet, hmm, right? <laughs> if I lose my wallet, my wallet might have a thousand dollars in it. Now, brother don't know whose wallet it is, so he finds my wallet, he look at it a thousand dollars. He know it ain't his. <laughs> he know it ain't his, right? Alright? But let's say if my wallet didn't have, for some reason, didn't have the idea, didn't know, didn't know whose wallet it was, but it has the money and everything in it, right? So what should he do? See, what should he do with that, according to these scriptures? Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Because somebody is going to claim it, right? And eventually, you know somebody is going to claim it. May not be that day, it may be the next day, it may be the next week, but somebody's going to come in and say, Did y'all see my wallet? See? I have a lot of things in my wallet. I had a thousand dollars. Did y'all see it? I'm saying somebody's going to claim it. And so you're supposed to hold on to it and keep it by you until your neighbor comes and, and, and looks for it and you give it back to him. But today, would that happen? No, we went into it. We had so many things thrown out here, brothers, it ain't funny. And out of the house of David. Wow. Take it. You understand? They know that. These were brothers who haven't been in the truth no more than a year, maybe two. You understand? So these are the things that's happened now because they got that, that spirit of the world in them, that negative vibration. That's sick. You know? That's what Chris asked. And am I my brother's keeper? Am I my brother's keeper? You got to ask yourself that question. You need to go home and meditate. Am I my brother's keeper? So that's why, like, earlier we were talking to the sister about the Masharash Allah. That's what this is all about, brother. The Masharash Allah, we have the, the seventh summit here in New York, September 15th and 18th. It's all about that. Understand? It's about the lifting up uh, and the coming together under brotherhood. See? Because we have, we, we know who we are, we know we're Israelites, see? Understand? We know the commandments, we know the law, that's the commandments, but 
So something is missing here. If we have all that and have the history, the brothers can break down what happened from 70 AD all up until today. Brothers can break it down. They can break down what happened when we were in Egypt, in Babylon, in Assyria. They can break down all that stuff. But what don't they have now? So what's the problem? What don't we have as a nation? And my mind what is key. That's the only that's what Yahweh Shai was talking about in the Gospels. That's everything he was talking about. That's the missing integral part that we don't have. See? We're not our brother's keeper. Well, there's no brotherhood, brother. There's nothing. There's no brotherhood. There's no love of brethren. No one. Understand? And you know, that's that's on the highest, that's the highest level that you could come on. That that, that Yahweh Shai is talking about. That's the highest level, bro. We don't have that. It's easy to read history. It's easy to say, okay, I know those commandments. Yeah, you know them. <laughs> Applying them is a different level, see. Understand? Yeah, it's easy to uh, go into prophecy and go out there and teach. It. See? But am I my brother's teacher? See? That's the next level. And that level from from knowing the history of prophecy, law, statute, commandments, yeah, that's here. But the love of brethren, see, that's way up here. That's what you have. You have shy, I don't care how much you know. See, he doesn't care how much you know. Yeah, you know your you know your basic, you know your Israelite, you know, break down of certain scriptures and, 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 and some wisdom and certain aspects of, of the gospels and the truth. Okay, that's that's good. But if you don't have charity, the scripture says, right? You don't have charity, right? And charity consists of everything. Charity consists of brotherhood, love, faith. See, keeping the connect. Charity is everything. Giving. See, charity consists of everything. If you don't have that, then what do you have? Okay. But I can break down the history. So what? The little Lord, you know, trying to care about that. That's why he said you can sound like an angel, okay? but if you don't have those things, you're nothing. I said, you know, I mean, that's what's happening out here. You see a lot of brothers in the church a long time, but still have nothing because they don't have charity. They're, they're not brotherly. See? Everything is about them. And, see? and you can witness in some of those camps that's out there, it's all about them. It's all about the leaders of those camps. See? It's all about those leaders. That's why they give themselves high titles. <laughs> yeah, I wish I didn't give you that title. You, you get it yourself. Understand? Comfort of and all this. You know, how shy did he give you that? Picture you how shy giving you, and he's you how shy is the comforter, right? Picture you give him giving you the title of comfort. You how shy did give no rewards yet, brother. There are no rewards given yet. None. You better be glad you you, you he woke you up to come to the truth and to understand the gospel. Understand your initial life, your nationality. That's a gift. That's a reward. <laughs> See? So all these titles, you know, generalists, that, that, that don't mean nothing to you, Because it might not be so when you outside you have the rewards. So that just shows you that. Get Exodus 23 and 4 out and, and read loud. As loud as you can. Exodus 23 and 4. Exodus chapter 23, verse 4. If thou meet thy enemy's ox, or his ass going to stray, thou shalt surely bring it back to him again. If thou see the ass of him that hateth thee lying under his burden, and wouldest forbear to help him, thou shalt surely help with him. Ah, how about that? Now, this says your enemy. Ah. See? How about that? And uh, let's, say, let's say this now. It's not talking about your natural and your natural enemies. I don't give a damn about the white man. If I see a white man that needs help, brother, I'm going the other way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, these Arabs, these these Africans, the real Africans, right? Ham. You know, look. For the most part, I'm going the other way, brother. You understand? I'm going the other way. All right, because. They set out to destroy you, these, right. these other nations. All right, they set out to destroy you. When the Chinese and, and these uh, North Korean, uh, South Koreans, 
coming to the uh, black neighborhood, right? And these Arab deli stores, they, they don't they don't hire black people. They don't care about your welfare. Understand? They're not looking out for you. So the enemy that is talking about here is who? Because some of us do have, uh, uh, become enemies to one another, right? They hate for one another, right? It's all, it's all there. It's always there, right? The jealousy is always there. The envy, the strife is always there amongst us, right? So it said, if your enemy, right, if thou meet thy enemy's ox, the Most High Yahshua still says, take his possession, keep it until you're able to give it back to him. If you see your enemy wallet laying down. Right? And you know whose wallet it is, right? And he forgot it, let's say. But you have something against him for some reason. Ah, now what? You see how the Yahweh Shai will test you? Yahweh Shai will test you just like that, brother. Understand? He will bring a, a, a situation just like that in front of you to see what you want to do. He'll bring it forward and, and present it right to you. See? And see what you're going to do. I think that, huh? Say it again. Um, the scriptures say we're gonna. Um, get, okay, after that, get Romans twelve and ten. Get Romans twelve and ten. Be kindly affectionate one to another. Now, who is he talking about here? Is he talking about the natural enemies of uh, Sharon? Uh, is he talking about be kindly affectionate to who? Who is he talking about here? Huh? And that's what I want to understand. That's yeah. What I understand? understand? Okay. I you must that. first be kindly affectionate to your own people. Now, if you want to be kind to the white man, okay. But then how are you going to come back and not be kind to your own people? You understand what I'm saying? It, all, it always first has to uh, relate to these commandments to your own people first. Especially brotherhood and love. It has to relate to your own people first. Then you might extend that same spirit to other nations. But only when they extend it to you. See? How am I going to be kind of affectionate that somebody's going to rape, rob, and murder me and my people? Come. So, how am I going to, uh, my enemy, I see my enemy, his ox or his sheep or whatever going straight. And he, that might be, that might be an ox or a sheep that he just stole from a lot of people, right? To a lot of people, right? So, but still, nonetheless, we got to apply the love of brotherhood to our people first. See? That's why in uh, Matthew, I think it's Matthew 5, Matthew 5, 43, since she uh, posed the question, Matthew 5, 43. Real quick. Matthew 5, 5th chapter and 43rd verse. And then you're going to read uh, Romans 12 and 10 one more time. But, uh, Ashley Todd, Matthew 5, 43. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 5, verse 43. Ye have heard that it had been said. It had been said. Go ahead. Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. Ah, thou shalt love thy neighbor. Now listen, Sharon. And hate thine enemy. Who is the enemy he's talking about here? Huh? Okay. I'm gonna show you. Go ahead. Go ahead, read on. But I say but I say to you, love your enemy. Love. So now who's the enemy is talking about now? Israelite It's talking about Israelite enemies. That's all we got. 
We've got enemies all over the place of our, of our own people. I'm sure you got some enemies. Lisa. <laughs> right. Sharon, you got some enemies. Lisa. Huh? Lisa over here, man. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. I know you got some enemies. I got some. <laughs> okay. So, come on, let's not fake it. We've got enemies of our own people that, you know, that we can say, look, I hate that nigga. Bro. <laughs> I hate the way that nigga at. That nigga ain't right. You know what I'm saying? You better never come around me again, right? We don't need to all do that. Stuff like that. See? That's why Yahweh Shah said, no. But I said to you, love your enemies. <laughs> Go ahead, Al. Let them that curse you. Now, don't, we, don't some of our people curse us? I got news for you, brother. We had schools curse the whole house of David, try to curse the whole house of David. All right? They would, and, and then they would set up the curses, and then by name, name us. Curse the rock. Curse his family. All that time. Wow. Oh, we had that. Okay. I ain't going to detail there, but I can go into detail. We had that, brother. See? So most guys said, bless them that curse you. See, but that's why in the prayer we still pray for who? Everybody. And we still ask the most I am trying to bless everybody. Even though we know that some of them are out there cursing us, they hate us, they're jealous of us, understand, envious. We know that already. But the most I still said, do it. They're they going to heat coals of fire upon their own head. You understand? Alright? You still do it. That's why we say, let's come together and march for all that we invited some of those schools that ate the house of David, brother. Okay? We invited some of those schools. We knew that more than likely they were going to turn it down, but we still invited them. Okay? Understand? Because that's what you have. That's why I said brotherhood is on this level, brother. It's way up here. Brotherhood. To establish brotherhood and love of your people is way up here. The other stuff is even a little bit below that. Okay, knowing prophecy, that's, that's below that, brother. Understand? That's still a high level, but it's below that. Because, okay, knowing the commandments. Okay, I know the commandments now. You, you, you forgot to apply them. See? One thing to know, another thing to apply. See? So, the, 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 the Sadducees, the Pharisees and Sadducees, they were like white sepulchers. They clean on the outside, but evil on the inside. Dirty on the inside. Because they didn't, they told everybody, keep the commandment, but they didn't apply the commandment themselves. That's why Yahweh Shai said, do as they say, not as they do. Okay? So this is what you have. Bless them that curse you. Go ahead, huh? Do good to them that hate you. Ah. Look, we have some people that hate us, right, Sharon? Yeah. Yeah. This is your own nation, brother. It's not talking about the white man. It's not talking about... But the Christians think this is talking about the white man. Love them. That's why you got all people marrying crackers. You know what I'm saying? Even that football, that football player that came out and said, I ain't going to stand up for that place. Uh, uh, yeah, Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, Colin Kaepernick. The, uh... What they call it? Uh, National Anthem. National Anthem, right. He said, I ain't stand up, man. He has a white mother. Yeah. But his father is a jail. Yeah. He's an Israelite. And you see him? He's wearing his fro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there's, there's a couple more who joined him. Yeah. He's wearing his fro and everything. Now, we know Esau is definitely. Esau could be putting him up to him. We'll see. You know, Esau could be. But still, the spirit that's on him, he said, the hell with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The hell with that. All right? Then tell this injustice, I'm not going to stand up for the national anthem. And, and he's right. Absolutely. Now, all them black football players and all our people in sports should do the same thing. The he saw what to shut the sports <laughs> athletics. He had to shut it down. There would be nobody, no football. There would be no baseball. There would be no basketball. He had to shut it down. But you, could, you could shut down the country. I'll give you some bank ass. Go ahead, huh? Yeah. Um, not only should Jake uh, not... Um, Participate in the national. How about this? Most of Jacob them sport them at their millionaires. Quit. Quit. How about that? Yeah. The NBA, the N M the NFL, and the NBA. Yeah. It's a wrap. Yeah. He's all be like, oh my goodness. Yeah. You can shut it down. Yep. All right. 
And so Colin Kaepernick is, is standing up, right? And he's showing Esau that, look, uh, there's injustice here, and it's not being taken care of, right? All right? And the thing is, he's, he's, he's probably willing to sacrifice, because if they, for whatever reason, they cut him or whatever, he's probably willing to sacrifice that. He knows what's at stake. Right. He don't care about the endorsements and all that. He, he had to figure that out before he did it. Understand? So, and, and this is the kind of spirit you gotta have, man. Okay. And read the next part up. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Okay, right, Sharon? That's the ones of our people who pray who, who what? Who, who despitefully use you and persecute you? Yeah, there's a whole lot of those out there. Huh? Of course. Do you still pray for them? Well, this is what Yahweh Shai is asking. Can you come on that level? See? Because Yahweh Shai is going to take care of them. See? As long as you do the right thing, understand? And you take on the righteous spirit. You do the right thing. Yahweh Shai is going to take, on, take care of the ones who use you, despitefully persecute you, hate you, curse you. It's going to come back on them, brother. See? But if you try to take it in your own hands, see? Then you might come up short. Understand? Okay, he used me. Now nah, I'm gonna beat his ass. I'm gonna, you know, what I'm saying I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna do it. But what are you gonna, do? right? Now if you do that, say, then the spirit's not gonna be with you. If you can't say that, I defend myself. I, 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 I know how to stop him. Right? Yeah, you defend yourself, but you have to go to your house shy also. You have to go to the most high and your All right, and that's that's what you're supposed to do. Then you you sort of you leave it alone. Now, 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 we're not saying that nobody attack you. We're not, we're not saying that, right? We're not saying that nobody attack you and, and do what they want physically on you. You gotta defend yourself. But you still, you still go to your hour shot. See? Doesn't matter how big and bad and strong they are. All right. So, uh, forty-five. Right, go ahead. Forty-fifth verse. All right. That you may, that you may be the children of your Father, which is in heaven. Now. Who's the most side is the, is the father of what nation? Israel. Uh, see that ye may be the children. The children, all right, of the most side who? The, the nation of Israel. Sharon, that's why you, you asked the question. Can you prove that? That's talking about the enemies of Israel or the natural enemies. That's talking about the enemies of Israel. Because your natural enemies, okay. You don't have to deal with them brotherly. You don't have to understand. It's talking about your own people. Well, All right. The natural enemy is the enemy. It's a difference. It's a difference. All right. Because you have enemies of your own people. Okay. Go ahead, up. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good. Yes. He maketh his son to rise on the evil. Are people that doing evil? Okay. He making the sun rise upon them. All right, you got a lot of our people who are into Satan, Satanism, huh? That's how they get so rich and famous in this country. Beyonce is into Satanism. Put that in the Satanism, huh? Okay. All right. Rick Ross one day in the Satanism, huh? See? They will try to kill you. They will try to lay a curse on you if you try to, you know what I'm saying? Come against. Come against their their money or their fame or whatever, or come against their possessions, what they have in America. They will try to come against you. So, so the Most High make the sun rise on the evil and the good. So go ahead, up and send the rain on the just and on the unjust. Okay, how about that? Go ahead, up. Forty six. For if ye love them, which love you, say, if you love them which love you, go ahead. What reward have ye? Yeah, you have a reward. There is a reward there. Okay? Because there's no ill will to my neighbor if I show what? If I love him. Understand? Go ahead, up. Do not even the publicans the same? How about that? Even in, even in sin, in the evil world, they love each other. See? They, they show love to each other. Even in sin, in that evil world, you know what I'm saying? They follow Satan order, but they still love each other. Mm -hmm. So why in righteousness we can't do them? 
John pointed out, if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the public himself? Yeah, how about that? See? Look how out there in the evil world they stick together, don't they? They stick close together. And let it, let somebody who's in righteousness come around. Don't they act funny around you? Mm -hmm. You'll begin to see it. Once you mature on the two, you'll, be, you'll see it. How when they get together and talk, and here you come, maybe you're at your job or whatever, they can feel the vibration that you're not one of them. Understand? I encounter all kinds of like that. They can feel the vibration, you know. And so they they will act a certain way around you. Understand? So, but out in the world, says so even the publicans, even the people out in the world, they will uh, salute one another out there in the world, but we don't do it one another here in righteousness, in the truth. Go ahead, Doc. Be ye therefore perfect, be perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Right, see? So understand that, Sharon? <laughs> uh, Romans 12 and 10, one more time, uh, Ashoka. Romans chapter 12, verse 10. Be kindly affectionate one to another, with brotherly love, in honor, Preferring one another. See? Do you prefer one another? Hey, get out of my face. I don't want you around me. That's not what Yahweh should have want. Understand? And I and I understand sometimes some brothers who are just in that evil way so much, you can't be you have to separate yourself. You do. You have to separate. But you still you can still pray for the brothers, you know what I'm saying? You can still pray for them. Understand? Salute them still. But sometimes you have to suffer. That's why I say, be ye, don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Okay? But we still pray for our people, even unbelievers. Even Israelite brothers who are unbelievers. You got the Old Testament Israelites. You're not in your house shot. Unbelievers. But do we still pray for all Israel? Yeah. Come on. You understand what I'm saying? You still pray for them. But you still can't, you have to be, you have to separate yourself. Understand? From from that. So that you can grow in the spirit of your house. But you still pray for them. This is what Yahweh is talking about. Get 1 John 3.15, right? That's what God. 1 John 3.15. Okay, 1 John 3.15. You got the actual cross? Okay, read that for us. 1 John chapter 3 verse 15. Whosoever hateth his brother. If you hate your brother, son, is a murderer. What are you? Is a murderer. You're a murderer! You just killed him! But you didn't physically kill him. He's spiritual. So if you hate him, you kill him. How shall I charge you with murder? <laughs> How about that? There's a lot of murderers out there, eh? <laughs> and they didn't kill you, but they are they are doing it spiritually through hate. You understand? That's why the Mashra Yasha Allah is teaching brotherhood, love, come together in love and brotherhood. See, that's why we're teaching that. That's the first and foremost thing. Then you can come, once you establish that level of brethren and brotherhood, you can come together and then form a government. Understand? So you murder him if you hate him. Go ahead up. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, and ye know that no murderer have eternal life abiding in him. Right. No murderer have eternal life abiding in him. How about that? So you murdered the man. Come. Okay. So hopefully you got the understanding on that. Get, go back to Deuteronomy 22. Right? 22 and 4. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, Hebrews 13, 1. Does that come in the same headline? Uh, uh, what does it say? Let brotherly love continue. There you go. Yes, it does. Let brotherly love continue. Hebrews 13 and 1. Okay. Right. Right. So, right. So let brotherly love continue. Right. 
Don't let anything come in between bro and love. Like, I, like we were saying before, you're not going to know every brother. You're not going to be you know, friends, friends with every brother. But you can be brotherly to every brother and sister. You always be brotherly. Because that's why I said forget that you're going to entertain brothers who might be angels, unawares. Now how are you going to entertain them in an old evil fashion? Well, brother, you ain't part of my camp, so I can't salute you. Don't we hear that out there? Uh, what camp are you from, brother? Here I come up, the house wall, something I've tried. Um, what camp are you from? No! I saluted you! I just want to salute back! I ain't got to tell you what camp you're from, I'm a brother! I don't care if I'm from the ends of the earth! Doesn't matter, I should just salute you! See? You understand? So, what if, I, what if I was an angel on the way? And that brother said, what camp are you from? <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? You gonna act that way toward me? You don't know who I am? That's a lot. Huh? Lot right! I've entertained a couple of angels in the spiritual way, that was an angel. So be careful how you deal with brothers out in the street, from other camps, from other schools, and sisters also. Be careful. Right? Alright, go ahead. Uh, Deuteronomy 22 and 4. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 4. Thou shalt not see thy brother's ass, or his ox fall down by the way, and hide thyself from them. Thou shalt surely help him to lift them up again. Right. Surely help them to lift it up again. Get Romans 13 and 8 out real quick. Thou shalt not see thy brother's ass or his ox fall down by the way, and hide thyself from them. Thou shalt surely help him to lift them up. So, today, I may be driving, I get a flat tire. Brother passed, brother's just passing me by. <laughs> no help, no nothing. Just passing me by, right? And the brother may see, oh, that's brought. Yes, sir. I, 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 I can't help him. <laughs> he ain't from my school. <laughs> Yes, simple mind that is, it passed on by. Same difference. So if you see a brother, ox or ass fall down, by the way, you're going to pass by and you're not going to help him. This is what it's talking about. You read Romans 13 and 8 mm-hmm. to 9. Okay. Romans chapter 13, verse 8. Owe no man anything but to love one another. See? Owe no man anything, love one another. Go ahead. For he hath. For he that loves another has fulfilled the law. Ah, see? Y'all see that? If you love one another, you fulfill the law. Not if you prophesy. See? Not if you know all the history in the world. See? It just said if you got to love one another. You fulfill the law already. That's what your house child wants. All the other stuff you I don't even care about, brother. You know what I'm saying? But I know this.